Well, hello, this is Kelly and I'm the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video one of the gas control series. Today we're going to focus on the rod and tube thermostat. Now the rod and tube thermostat is a gas valve that is commonly found on hot water heaters. It does have other applications, but generally speaking, those are antique, so we won't focus on them. Now this is a rod and tube thermostat. This is commonly called a gas valve for a hot water heater. It screws into the bottom side of a hot water tank and that copper tube sticking out of it sits right inside the water of the hot water tank. Its job is to sense the temperature of the water and it will expand and contract as it's heated and cooled. What you can't see is a little metal rod on the inside of that tube called INVAR. INVAR has a property where it doesn't expand and contract a lot when it's heated and cooled, considerably less than a copper tube. So that's actually gonna open and close the gas valve just by mechanical action. So here is our gas valve. Now this is actually supposed to be screwed into the side of a hot water tank and this part of our rod and tube assembly should be immersed in the water that's inside it. I got my gas valve and my main burner and my pilot assembly here. We are not gonna go through the procedure to light up the pilot. If you wanna learn how to do that, read the instructions that are on the side of your hot water tank. Okay, now we are ready to light up the main burner. So gas is going to flow down through this chamber into the main burner. Now it's, the gas is allowing to pass through because of this right here. The INVAR rod is attached right here and it goes all the way through until it reaches the gas valve assembly here. And because we're totally cold or contracted, this gas valve is being held open. Up we go. So now we begin the process of heating the water. The copper will heat, or it won't heat up faster than the INVAR, but it'll certainly expand faster and more than the INVAR. And they're talking about how it's attached here and how it's going to actuate the gas valve on this side. So we're waiting for this copper tube to heat up, expand, and move away from here, which will then close this gas valve and stop the main burner. So let's heat things up. Now the water temperature heated up and the whole expansion tube expanded, of course. So the copper tube expanded and eventually our valve clicked off. Now the amount it expanded there is totally exaggerated so you can see what's happening. You would not be able to see it with the naked eye. It's about four one thousandths of an inch that it expands, so it's not very much. But now the hot water tank is up to temperature. So what's going to happen here as the hot water tank cools down from use, we're going to shrink back down on our expansion tube and it's going to open back up and we're going to start burning again. That's how it works. And that brings us to the end of this video. Now, I hope this all made sense to you and stay tuned for the next video because we're going to talk about how to calibrate a heat anticipator on a thermostat. Until then, you have yourself a great day.